Whenever I think of Pixar movies, there are a lot of movies that come to mind. There's Cars, Monsters, Inc., and, of course, Toy Story. We're not aiming for the truck! And it seems that whenever someone brings up Toy Story 3, all people just say is, Oh, I really like the ending. Or, Oh, it should have ended the series. Or, Oh, it's my favorite Pixar ending. No one seems to actually talk about the movie, aside from the ending. And look, I'm just gonna get straight to the point. There is one scene, yes, is popular, but is also kind of underrated at the same time. And in my opinion, that scene is without a doubt, the incinerator. I honestly feel really angry that this scene doesn't get talked about as much as, well, the ending. Because holy shit, man. In the theater when I was like five or six, yeah, I cried at this scene. And then at 17, re-watching this movie, yeah man, I was crying too. Hell, even more than the ending of the movie. And only to see people barely talk about this scene is kinda jarring. Which eventually came up with the idea to make this video. So without further ado, this is an analysis on the incinerator scene from Toy Story 3. Let's go. So it starts off after the magnet scene, which is really creative if we're being honest. And it looks like the toys are done with the trash, right? Rex sees daylight up ahead. Except, uh-oh, it's not daylight. Turns out, they're heading towards an incinerator. Fun fact, when trash goes through processes like this, they usually get burned. So yeah, it's thematically correct for this scene. And since everyone sees the fire up ahead, everyone starts to run. Of course, trying to get back as much as possible. So, Lotso gets the idea of pushing the button to make the conveyor belt that the toys are on stop because, well, well yeah, the fire. So, the toys do trust Lotso to push the button to make the conveyor belt stop moving, and they help him get to the button. But, uh-oh, turns out Lotso's not a good guy, and he leaves the toys to die. So, they all fall in, and, well, they try to escape the fire. Eventually knowing that they can't. So, Jesse asks Buzz, Buzz! What do we do? And he just holds her hand, knowing that this is the only way out. And everyone starts holding each other's hand, knowing that this is the end. As Woody tries to escape the incinerator, he looks at Buzz as he holds out his hand for Woody. And instead of refusing it like how he did earlier in the movie, he takes Buzz's hand. All the toys are there, waiting for their impending doom to become trash. But not today, because the aliens save them. With the power of the claw, the toys are saved from their doom. In my eyes, this scene is kinda perfect. Is it as perfect as the ending? No. This movie is kind of the perfect ending for Toy Story and Pixar, but it wasn't the finale to Pixar and Toy Story. Of course, a fourth movie came out in 2019 and it was okay. I'm not saying the movie should have ended at the incinerator, <laughs> God no, but I do believe that the incinerator is a perfect scene and let me tell you why. No other emotional scenes in any other animated movie, really, can really compare to this scene. This scene, at least from my side, wasn't made for kids. Now, of course, kids did watch this, as, well, I did too in theaters at the time. And this honestly feels like something you would never see in another kid's movie ever again. Let alone another movie made by Disney or Pixar. I don't think they can ever top this scene ever again in another one of their movies. To literally see death right in front of you? Holy shit, man, that's terrifying! Like, can you even imagine modern Disney making another scene like this? Stupid question. No, you wouldn't. Of all of the animated movies I've ever seen, no scene compares to this one. Not even the scene in Puss in Boots 2 where Puss bleeds. And that kind of scared me in the theater. And of course, following this scene came lots of art and of course, a creepypasta that's well known at this point. Which is one of my favorites due to that these people actually gave a shit about the scene. Say, unlike literally everyone else. And, okay, like it or not, 
In my opinion, this is the best scene in the whole movie. And fuck it, the whole Toy Story franchise as a whole. Like, seriously. Recently, I rewatched all the Toy Story movies, and none of them have really made me cry, aside from this scene. Really impressive, because I don't really cry at movies that often. And despite all that, that's not why the scene is perfect. The music choice for this is perfect. What every character does in this scene is kind of perfect and not gonna lie what people would do if they were trapped in an incinerator. The part when Buzz grabs Jesse's hand, dude, I was crying. And that one shot where everyone's looking at the fire, dude, I'm framing that on my wall. And you know what? I'm gonna say it. I know that Akira is my favorite movie of all time, but that movie didn't even make me cry. And to be honest, I don't see Pixar, let alone Disney, ever make a scene like this ever again. Well, at least in today's standards. You can tell that everyone in this scene really tried, and it soared. And so after the scene came references in video games, a Lego set, and of course, a creepypasta. And eventually this video. And I think I did my job on explaining why this scene is perfect, so... Here we go, the plugins. Say, do you like content from this channel? Well, if you do, I highly suggest that you go follow my social media, including my Twitter, DeviantArt, Instagram, and Discord. My Discord server is also in the channel, actually. So feel free to drop by and ask a question once in a while. <laughs>